Hi, I'm Ken Tenard. I'm a contributing editor at Canadian Home Workshop. Welcome to Canadian Home Workshop Online. Today we're going to show the fundamentals of steam bending by way of a 180 degree bend in some quarter inch oak. Steam bending is a great way to literally throw a curve into your woodworking repertoire. Requires very little equipment, a furnace, a boiler, and a steam box. The furnace in this case is simply a hot plate. The boiler, a stock pot that's connected to the steam box by way of dishwasher supply hose. It's uh, readily available at any home center and uh, can withstand the 200 degree temperature, 200 degree Fahrenheit temperature of the steam in the box. The box is made from three quarter inch exterior plywood. It's secured together with polyurethane glue and inside features a series of dowels that are act as a rack to lift the stock that's being steamed up off the bottom of the box so that the steam can evenly circulate around all six surfaces of the board. We need even penetration of the wood for it to bend. When we're bending wood, in actuality what we're doing is we're, we're stretching the wood. The outside surface stretches, the inside surface compresses. The steaming elasticizes the lignin in the wood, which is the natural glue that holds the fiber in place. When that lignin is elasticized, the fibers can easily slide past each other and crush into each other and form that bow. Any wood will bend to a degree, but for best success, the oaks are the best. Uh, my personal favorite is white oak. We can easily get a 180 degree bend out of white oak without any type of backup strap, as long as we're about a quarter inch thick. Once we get into greater thicknesses, we have to back up this tension side of the wood with a uh, metal strap. The wood needs to be straight grained, free of defects, uh, no knots, and especially no grain run out. When we're bending the wood, uh, we, we want to ease it into, into shape. We're, we're asking it to do a lot of work. So we're removing it from our steam box, setting it into our form, and easily bending it. The form is also a very important part of the steam bending process. It's what will give us the shape that we want. It needs to be built strong and uh, have a facility to clamp the wood to the form. The wood's gonna have to stay in the form for three to seven days, depending on the thickness or the current humidity situation in the shop. The other critical factor with the stock in the steam box is the amount of time it has to be in there. The steam box has to reach 200 degrees Fahrenheit and the stock has to be in there for one hour per inch of thickness. In this case we're doing quarter inch stock so we'll need 15 to 18 minutes in there and then the lignin will be uh, elasticized and the wood will be pliable enough to bend around the form. The steam coming out of the box is extremely hot so we need to protect ourselves with it with gloves and long sleeves rolled down. Just like opening the oven door, we want to step back when we open it and load our stock in. I'm leaving space around the stock so that the steam can circulate around it. I don't have one piece up against the other. I'm, I'm also not putting it far enough back that when I have to pull it out, I'm, I'm going to have to stick my arm too far into that box to access the wood. We're at our 200 degree temperature, so it has to sit in there and cook for 15 minutes. Then we can bring it out and bend it. The boiler is simply a stock pot with two three-quarter inch holes drilled into it. The dishwasher supply line is a convenient choice because the outside diameter of the line is three-quarter of an inch, so it fits into the hole quite easily. Uh, we have to have enough circulation in the box that we have 200 degree temperature at both ends. Sometimes a manifold is required, and that's simply just a matter of running a longer piece of hose along the bottom of the box and punching holes into that hose. The box only needs to be as, as big as the piece you're bending. Too big of a box, we're steaming a much larger area for no reason. And because it's so affordable, it's just exterior grade plywood from the hardware store, we can make the box very easily on the table saw to whatever size we like. The box shouldn't be airtight. It, it has to be fairly tight, but the fact that we have all this steam seeping out from the edges and the holes is a good sign. If the box was under pressure, it could explode, and that's not a good thing. So uh, steam holes, 
drain holes in the bottom are nice too because we're building up a lot of condensation on the inside of that box. We angle the box by putting a little stick under the front and then the condensation can run along the top of the box, drip down and drip out onto the ground. So our piece of oak has been in there for 15 minutes at a constant 200 degrees Fahrenheit temperature and we're ready to remove it. We have our safety gloves on and we've located it fairly close to the front so we can grab it easily. Replace the lid. And it's quite limber. So the first step is to put a clamp in the middle section and secure it. Make sure we're flat to the edge and give it a bend. We want to work deliberately but not frantically. We're, we're really coaxing this thing, coercing it to, to bend. And there it goes. Throw a clamp across the middle to hold it in place. And there you have a quarter inch piece of white oak bent to 180 degrees. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Ken Tenard, contributing editor at Canadian Home Workshop magazine. Be sure to join us again at CanadianHomeWorkshop.com.